I'm here. Anyways, um, we can go in there right away, but just a second. I want to finish my. Why I have received a letter from a muggle claiming to be the mother of a friend of yours, asking mm -hmm. me to afternoon tea. <laughs> what did I tell you about making friends with Muggleborns? Oi. Oh, I'm highly affronted. You will not associate with this friend anymore. And if I hear from this, let friend, me say. I will see to it myself that you don't. Akio. Sorry, I wanted to help. <laughs> Oh, that sucks, man. Sorry, dude. The racism is strong in this one. <laughs> in, in the mother, at least. Oh, they're playing golf stone. It's cute. Revelio. Um. Anywho. What's this? I had a lock. There's a lock on the other side? Uh? Huh? Uh, I saw someone making a video where they were like, "Oh my God, the basilisk is in, in Hogwarts Legacies," and it 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 turns out it's just a glitch, because there is apparently a giant squid in the dark sea, outside in the dark lake or something, and one of his tentacles got a bit too close. But I was like, that's so sad. In my he no, in my head, can the basilisk roams around the fucking school. <laughs> Don't disappoint me, come on! I want to be able to go into the Chamber of Secrets. Oh my god, I love her so much. I fell in love with her, this professor when I saw the state of play back then, where I first found out about Hogwarts Legacy. A little treat for your auntie. I was like, oh my god, she is so, so sweet. Class? Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. <laughs> He's like, um. Do look forward to growing together. Aww. She's like a garden fairy. This year will She's be just missing her wings. Excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. Mm -hmm. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Yeah. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Isn't that a thing that Akio. almost kills the kids in the first book, movie? Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> first, Oh, no, our... it's the second movie. I thought it's the one that is a, it's not good with fire or now, sunlight. Everyone, grip it's difficult, okay? Oh, you can hear it a bit damp. That's so sweet. Pull. <laughs> Check. It's a bit difficult when you always hear everything in German of these. What the hell? Ah. And then you play the game in English. Uh, Repot. Having to find the bloody buttons on this controller that I never use. Hooray! The soil should <laughs> Hello, for she pats it like, ah, oh, wasn't that nice? Well, kids. Right at ease. Yes. And they we want to ease off the mandrakes. Oh, yeah, right. They can just repair shit. I'm a muggle, so I'm like, God, how will you do that? Yeah. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. Nah, it's fine. Oh, Off you go. Good work, everyone. Hurrah. What's so? <laughs> now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting Dittany. What is dittany? Hold. Wait a second, you. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Okay, sure. Hello. Anyone? Hmm. I wonder nope. if hippogriffs like knotgrass. I don't know. Try it out. You know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself. Why the very idea? Hmm. Collect. <laughs> I guess you can. I mean, why? Why wouldn't you? They can kill you if they scream. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. Thanks. It can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I nearly went deaf. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. 
How kind of you. <laughs> it seems you're already taking to Herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. I don't know about that. I'm not i I'm not sure if I'm good with plants. Let us find you some But I'm open for it. We'll see. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. Sure. I've arranged I don't remember that at all, but <laughs> if you said I did it, it it happened. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Cool. Be them soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic. They will take time to grow. Mm hmm. Let's see how to balance my star fizzle arrangement. You can't pass. Wow, they're smart. They always move away. Not all AI is that professor. intelligent. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. Cool. All right. I'll do that then. Disney's restorative properties make potting table unlocked. In the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Sure. I don't remember. I remember the names slightly, but select the available seeds. Oh yeah, right. We. I don't remember if we bought them or not. Which one should I plant the Disney seeds? Okay, <laughs> thank God uh, <laughs> they say it again because I would have planted those. Select the le leaves of this are used. Mm -hmm. What the hell does Wiganweld potion though? I don't remember. Well done. Once it can be harvested, Is it your HP restoring? In Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Thanks. Yeah. What say we branch out? Ha ha! Branch out! You're so funny! Flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage! Sounds we'll sweet. Some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The What's the point the in having. Fortunately, I um, them to gnaw on plants that you can't. Let them have a good chomping. You know, use yes, for potions and stuff. They're in the other greenhouse. It's like, why would you. The footbridge leading Mom. Out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Maybe... Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, maybe if you have a garden and you plant some of these fight. plants that eat other things, they can defend your garden. So that's helpful, I guess. <laughs> Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Nice Leander. to meet you. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Okay, sure. Da -da -da. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was really? Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. <laughs> didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. Mm. We've Gryffindor's fight with honor. And uh, Hufflepuff's too. At least you did. Well, yeah, I, I guess. Here we are. I mean, a Hufflepuff can be a bitch if you make them your enemy, trust me. I almost lost a We're very face. vicious. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. Trust me. But... When you're treating us nicely, we're also nice to you. Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. All right. How do I do that? <laughs> how do I do that, though? Attack it. Yeah, but how? I don't... I have my wand here. Oh, L1 and tap... R, assign it. Oh, whoa! Anything they can get their uh, mouths on. Whoa! <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep them. That's so interesting. Okay, what the hell is on the other side? Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. <laughs> it just rolled away. <laughs> My kind of plants, not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. Those are kind of plants that have ridiculous names. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Uh huh. 
I suppose it could come in handy, sure, but that's just a dummy. I was imagining it already. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's I feel like I will forget about that such. in a minute. You can't be above from. I'm sorry, but that's too much information. Dogweed and death cap has more of them if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. Uh, you get the I don't know. My mom Any might. We, uh, probably ought to might back to would, class. might would do that. <laughs> English. Take your time. I'll see you back yeah. in class. What the fuck was that? There was a sound. That was weird. Okay. Um. What about this? Can I destroy that? Wait. Nope. <sighs> Alright, let's walk all the way back, I guess. It's not like we have better things to do. <laughs> As if it's like a 50 kilometer journey <laughs> back home. Ah, uh, what is this? Chest. Yeah, the Wigan Well potion was to restore HP, I think. Yes, okay, that's why I know the name. To Return to your potting table later to harvest them. Yeah. Lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Who the F was Mr. Fig? I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I yes. Too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. If could, we would miss a limb, you could you regrow it? Fingered. I mean, magic oh, I could probably do anything, but still. As I am, plants offer so much. Don't care much for plants, honestly. Ah, but it'd be nice, Magical even if we don't care. So to offer. I'm eager to learn more. Always I eager to learn more about the wizarding world. Bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Yay! Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. God, I love you. I want to marry this woman. Don't leave me, honey. <laughs> Can I? Yep. Mellow sweet. Ah, we need those for the Merlin trials. We must first understand them. Hello! You just passed me by. Where do I have to go? Up or down? Alright, good. I wanted to go there anyways. But I wanted to make sure if I'm correct. So. We're going to potions class and... Well, I don't know. We'll see. What awaits us in the future. Protego. No, we don't need to Protego anything right now. <laughs> We're fine. Oh, yeah, that dude. Oh, I remember you. Whee! Seems an odd choice for wandering about outside the dormitory. Use. Oh. That's sweet. Oh. Cool. How do I roll again? Nope. Nope. Oops, that was what I didn't mean to do. <laughs> How do I put away my wand? No, that's not it. Revelio. It's Revelio. <laughs> Just died there. I can't roll in this area, I guess. I think that's the problem. Fufames! Fufames! After the incident in Hogsmeade. I don't know. Mr. Black would never allow Revelio. It would make him look completely incompetent, which... I wouldn't bother yourself about that. Uh... How do I do this? Leviosa! Nope. Accio! How do I do this again? What? Do I just follow it again? Is that it? Wait. <laughs> Wait! Chest. Oh yeah, that's right. And I have to slap it when it's at the right place. All right, I got it. I remember. Fuck. I was thinking it flies over. Okay. Relax. You can do it. 
You fucking bitch! <laughs> Yo ho! Come on. Ah! Thank God. That was pity for me. This was absolutely bad. <laughs> I didn't do that right. What is this? Ah! These logs! Why? Revelio. Revelio everything! God damn it. How frustrating. It's so quiet all of a sudden. Why is it so quiet? You can talk, you can show. Why are there so many pots outside of the potions class? I mean, and they're even smoking, dude. That doesn't seem healthy at all. Revelio. Hello. Anything of interest for me? I can I can start it over there, but can I also go in here? Yeah, pick up memorandum. Date 31st of December 1875 from our war office. Subject Borkin and Burks. Borkin and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more hours to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Okay. Does that Rebellion. concern me in any form or way? I don't feel like it does. Also, what kind of bloody candles are those? Why are they made in the form of a human back skeleton? Whatever it's called. I will start the quest now. That's a beautiful ass, uh, but can we pan up to his face? Thank you. Is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. I don't know so much about the intellect. A Wigan Weld potion. Yay! Mr. Takar, can you tell Takar. us this particular The Takar has returned. Come in handy. Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can what house is this? Injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Good job, Before Ravenclaw. This class is completed. Each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. Cool, man. You never know. He when said that it cannot heal all wounds with Please. such a. I know what I'm talking about. Seeing how he limps a bit, it, it's like ah, eh, he probably has a pretty good idea <laughs> of life. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Cool. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay. I wonder what happens if you wait too long. Maybe it doesn't do it then, or maybe it's like, oh, you, you know, it's the first time, so we're not adding anything dramatic to this. Yes! Stir the cauldron! Mm. The skeleton master wants it. What was the do dude from the Black Cauldron called? I don't remember. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. I think stirring is one of the easiest things you can do. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. But it's the first one we're doing. And from what I hear Weird! I mean, I know we're five years, but... <laughs> You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes. Oh, okay. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Your own! They can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Yes. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Okay. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Cool, man. The shark must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. Huh. I wish he talked about it more. Professor yeah, he shark, seems like he went through a lot, so he doesn't want to talk about it. I never need it. 
My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Ah. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Yup. I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. I mean, I just went in there a second ago, <laughs> so... He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! Brilliant! Been presented with an extraordinary Splendid. <laughs> another. <laughs> Gareth Weasley. Bit of a problem. Gareth Weasley? No way. I mean, I was having a hunch with your red hair, but I didn't want to be Weasley-ist or some shit. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. Gareth but Weasley? What generation is this? The 18s? Anyone with the hundreds, 76? Potion. That's crazy, man. Something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will mm -hmm. add that extra spark. I suspect <gasps> that's where I come in. <laughs> clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather. Fupa feather? <laughs> what are these names? Perhaps you could grab it for me. Sure, I can get you that feather. I'll get you the Fupa feather. As long Fupa as Fupa feather shop, won't miss it. I assure you, he won't. Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Then why can't you get you one? See what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I mean, you're fifth year too, right? You can just go to what is it called, Hogsmeade, and buy it there if it's not that freaking crazy. Where the fuck did that come from, Ashwinder? Um, we were in. <laughs> It's a huge ass feather. <laughs> okay, I got it. Oh, that's a fupa. These fuckers. Hey, Gareth. Here's the fupa feather you wanted. There you go, man. Thank you. I'm always here to help. You should get sure. back to brewing your Aduras potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Sure, man. <laughs> I'm excited. Looking forward to it. I'll brew my own Potions stuff. Potion station unlocked! Woohoo! Alright, we have to brew a... What is it called? Eduros from Endurance, I guess, because we're crazy. Oh, okay, legit. Oh, I can't do a mini game to brew it? I just have to wait? Okay. Seriously? <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's it? Man, I'm good at this. I can brew potions like no one else. Look at this. I mean, it's, it seems like it's a bit crusty over there, but that's fine. It's supposed to be like that. Pick up. Whee! Empty. I don't have anything else I can do, so I go back. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? What's going on? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh-oh. Uh I thought so. <laughs> Woohoo! Well done, Gareth. Good job, man. What now, Mr. Weasley? Nothing. Sorry, That'll be points from Gryffindor. Oh, come on. Isn't it good when a student wants to experiment a bit? Accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh oh. I could just pretend I don't know what is going on. My Wiccan World potions utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Yeah. No, you can't. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I mean, I it was cleaner. cool. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. I fucking did! It's done! Also, how does he know he had an accomplice? I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping I did! What are you talking about? How did you even see any of that? I don't know what you mean, sir! Should I lie about it? I mean, he clearly seems to know. But I'm also, like, a bit salty about the fact that he does know. And I don't want to lose house points, but I'm not sure if I will lose house points either way. You know, if I say sorry, he's like, good that you apologized, like a true Hufflepuff, but you still lose points because you did that. Or if he will be like, oh, you're pretending not to know, like a Hufflepuff, well then, lose points. And I don't know what you mean, sir. 
Yeah, I don't know. Earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your. I'm not gonna do anything. I suggest you heed my warning. Oh come on! Today at your own cauldron, I will say, you've done well. I confess, I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're new. I mean, I literally didn't do anything. I just threw shit in a potion, in the cauldron, and then it did it by itself. So it's crazy, man. Crazy magic. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Good lord. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, yes. I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be mm. all. All right. I think each <sighs> of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Cool. I want to talk to you, man. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, you're the new student. Yes. Heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well, <laughs> I am the main character. Well, what, what did she? Professor Sharp seems to disagree. I was relieved. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Absolutely. I mean, it's not that hard. Potion recipes. It's as if they're written in gobbledygook. Yeah, right. That's so weird. I mean, you just have to follow the recipe, and I mean, you have to learn a bit about the ingredients and shit. But it, it's like cooking. It's not that difficult. Return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars. In, in my eyes, at least. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll Hell yeah, man. Is firm but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Cool man, see you there. In our room Lenora? It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Oh yeah, Lenora, I remember you. Jeez. Okay, speak for the portrait. What about you, that man? Was an interesting class. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. <laughs> brilliant! I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Yeah, I mean, you got me into trouble. Nah, it was nothing, man. Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers, no big man. deal, man. He probably had a good <laughs> Cheers. after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Oh, absolutely. Next time we talk, look at the dude. <laughs> fewer explosions. Yeah, I promise. Well, what's this? It's over there. All right, then. We'll go. Oh, now it's locked. Damn. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Sure, you can do that if you want to. 